hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is senna and on this channel i post content relating to my life living abroad as an international student so i try to share informative content relating to how you can move abroad for your studies as well if that's a plan that you have for your future so if that is something that you're interested in knowing about please consider joining the family just click on the red subscribe button down below and also click on the bell icon close to it so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video so in today's video i'm going to be talking about seven things that you need to do um, as an international student when you first arrive in the uk and um, i'm also going to be sharing some bonus tips towards the end so you'd like to stay tuned to the end to get those tips as well so guys without further ado let's get right into the video <music> Okay guys, so um, I have my notes here with me, so I'm going to be looking down every now and again, so please pardon me for that. But yeah, so the first thing that I have on my list here is a SIM card. Guys, you need to buy a SIM card when you come into the UK, um, because what are you going to be using to communicate with people or um, the organizations or your institution or, you know, anything that you'll be doing at all, you need to communicate with people, right? So I think a SIM card is one of the first things that you should think of getting and um, you can get one of those from um at the airport when you first arrive or if you've already sorted the accommodation if you've already booked then you can order them and um, order for it to be sent to your accommodation before you even arrive and um, there are so many networks in the uk to choose from there are, there's vodafone here there's ee and um, there's three there's three network there's give gab there's plus nets to mention but a few there's so and many of them and you can subscribe to um a subscription plan that's what um that's how it works here you need to subscribe to um a plan and um, which has you know various price points and usually you have like unlimited calls and data allocated to you when you subscribe to any of these bundles so yes just check check those out check the networks that i've mentioned and get one of those when i came first i um i was on plusnet yeah and then i moved to give gap now i am using three so there's so many options to choose from guys so yes that's the first thing i have on my list get a sim card for your phone and the second thing that i'm going to mention is for you to collect your brp from the post office that was mentioned on your decision letter so um when you were applying for your visa i'm sure they would have asked you where you want to pick your um, brp brp is a biometric residence permit i am going to try to insert a picture on the screen above either here or there and um, it's like your residency permit it's what um, permits you to be in the uk and you can use that to work as well so in the uk international students um, most of the time have um, a 20 hour work restriction so you can only work for 20 hours per week and that will be stated on like your brp so yes that's what a brp is you need to collect that um from the post office stated on your um decision letter or from your institution if that is the option that you chose when you are applying for your visa so um you really need that card to go around and add and i would advise that you and um, keep that card very safe <laughs> because it's really like your passport <laughs> so yeah so you need to collect that from your brp you have like 10 working days when you come into the uk to collect that from the post office or um until the date when the need that has been stamped in your passports um expires so yes guys um it's very easy to locate the post office around you you can just use your google map and um type in the postcode of the post office that was um stated on your decision letter and you should be able to easily collect your brp card from this place so yes that's the second thing that you should do and then the third thing that you should do guys is to find your university campus no brainer right <laughs> find where your um, university is located for someone like me i i wasn't like i'm not based on the university campus so i had to go to brighton from the south of london which is where i am i had to go to brighton and you know and um, most um, universities have various campuses in various locations so you need to locate which campus your course is 
um, going to take place so my course is at farmer campus so which is not like in the city of brighton so when you get to brighton you have to take an, another bus or train to go to farmer so yes locate your university and or the particular campus of your university where your course is based and just go there do your in-person registration when you locate your university you need to do your in-person registration usually when your um, place is confirmed you have to do like an online registration and then when you come into the uk you also need to go to the campus to register in person which should now activate like your student status and stuff like that so make sure um, once you locate the university you do your in-person registration and then pick up your student id card i'm also going to try to <laughs> put a picture of what mine looks like on the screen either here or there and um, you need to pick that up because that gives you access to your university facilities so yes it's really important once you go to the campus just make sure you do all those things register online and pick up your student id card and yeah so that's the third thing that you need to do and then the next thing that i have here on my list is for you to apply for your national insurance number ni it's called nia so if you plan to work at all during your study um, you need an NI number for tax purposes. Your employer will ask you for an NI number and this is really easy easy to apply for. You can apply for it online um, with, um, from the gov.uk site. I'm going to try to leave a link to the NI application portal in my description box below. So do check that out. Just go on to um, go on to Google and apply for your NI online. You need your passport and your BR, BRP card which you, you should have taken by now right i missed my ring <laughs> you need your passport and your brp which you, you should have taken by now so um you need to have those maybe scanned already before you start the application process because they'll ask you for those but yeah once um they um they um, confirm your identity and um, it usually takes eight weeks that's what is stated on the side so it takes eight weeks for them to get back to you with your n9 number or it can take longer than that so just try to apply for that early because most people do the application and you don't want to be kept waiting for a long time if you intend to work as soon as possible so yes guys that's the next thing that's the fourth thing that i think you should you know apply for um, once you land in the uk and then the fifth thing that i have on my list is for you to open a bank account again if you intend to work while she's steady and most employers would pay you through a bank account so you do need a bank account to be able to also do transactions in the uk it's really important that you get a bank account once you're here if you apply to your university through ucas because it's like a platform where you can apply to uk universities from that you can access from like worldwide so if that's um, the portal that you apply to your university invest is true once your place is confirmed they usually give you like a unique number that you can use to apply for um, a bank account and this makes the process easy for you but even if you didn't apply if you apply to your school directly you can still apply for a bank account once you have like a passport they always need identity documents so once you've done your in-person registration which i mentioned earlier then you can access like a bank letter from your school that you can take to the bank um, in addition to your brp and your passport and some other documents that they'll ask you for but in the interim you can also open like online accounts um their their, their, their requirements is not as strict as um a, a, as a brick and mortar bank so online and um, banks like mozo or sterling is it sterling or sterling i'm not sure i'll put the name on the screen and there's also chase so yeah and um, it's very quick and easy to open those accounts when i came in i opened monzo and um, in the first instance so you can do that as well whilst you work on opening an actual bank account there are so many banks to choose from there's barclays there's hscb i think it's called there's not west there's lloyd so many options guys so yes try to open a bank account as soon as possible so that is the fifth thing and then moving on to the sixth thing that i have on my list you need to register with a gp now this is also a very simple process a gp is a general practitioner like a doctor and um, that's how the system here in the uk works so if um, you need to see like you need medical attention you first need to contact your gp they are like the first point of contact and um, they will see you first and then if there's a need to refer you to a hospital then they'll do that but that's like your first point of contact and you really do need to register with a gp so as soon as you you know you started accommodation and yeah you've you know that that's where you're going to be staying just google and um, 
um, GPs um, around me and you get options just call the numbers that pop up and tell them you, you, you want to apply to you want to register with them and then they'll show you the process to go through now and um, it's all it's also very important because um getting and um getting registering with, with a gp will give you like um, um a national health insurance number and um, i've forgotten what it's called but i think that's what it's called and the letter that they give you can serve as a proof of address usually for most of the things that you're doing that you can you need a proof of address so registering with a gp is a like a the fastest way of getting one of those right so yes that's um, another reason why you need to register with a gp apart from um, health related reasons and then the seventh thing that i have on my list is to start looking for part-time jobs um, or volunteer opportunities as soon as possible so as soon as you've sorted all these things out guys i would advise that you start looking for you know work opportunities because as you're schooling like you need some experience uk experience to help boost your cv so that at the end of your studies you can, it will be much more easier for you to get a job so yes you need to start looking for um part-time jobs as soon as possible if you are based on your university campus or close by i would advise that your first point of course should be your university's employability services so i um i usually get regular emails from them with job Posting sometimes like student ambassador jobs or even jobs around you that um around the university campus are advertised. There are so many rules. I'll try to leave. I'll try to show um a video of the um, emails that my university sends me with the various job rules that you can apply for on the screen guys and i'm also going to do a video talking about part-time jobs that you can get as an international student in the uk so please watch out for that so yes guys start looking for part-time jobs as soon as possible or look for volunteer opportunities it is all a way for you to get uk experience because any job that you you need you want to do in the uk they'll be asking you for uk experience and we just landed we don't have it yet so any way that you want um, you need to um go through to be able to get that experience to put, boost your cv please guys do it so yes that is the seventh and the last thing but um i have two bonus tips for you i would advise that you also get a real card if you'll be commuting to university so i like i said i'm in the south of london i commute to brighton if you're not close by or if you'll be taking a bus or um, or the train to go to university in any way get a bus pass or a roll card you can get like an oyster card oyster cards are limited to london alone so you can use it outside of london but you can also get a real card you can get the real card app where you can register if you are 26 and below you get like a certain amount of discounts on your um on your train fare so if you're above you get a discount as well like so there are just so many options just go online and google real card and then you see the process that you need to go through to register to get card also um your student status in the uk gives you access to like so many discounts like some stores like boots and um super drug they offer um students discount and um, there are even student discount cards that you can get i'm going i can't remember the name right now but i'm going to leave um the name on the screen you can register for all these things so that you take advantage guys take advantage of your student status and get all the perks that comes with it guys so those are the two bonus tips that i have for you so yes guys it's really important that you get all these things underway and um, to make your life easier to um, get off to a, a good start i would say so yes guys that's all i have for you in today's video i hope you found it helpful if there's anything that you need further explanation on or if there's any process that you would want me to you know help you with just leave um, your thoughts in the comment section below or you can come onto my instagram i do respond to dm so don't you know don't hesitate to come onto my instagram and ask me questions and if you have any other video suggestions any videos that you'd like me to do um leave them in the comment section and i just might do your suggestions as well and um, kindly share this video with friends colleagues who are planning to come to the uk for study who would find it helpful in any way and um, yes guys thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you in my next one